Hey YouTube, this is TechKid and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can convert regular movie files such as AVI and MPEGs and um, convert them into DVD files. The first program we will be using is DVD Flick. Usually when you download DVD Flick, it will also download Image Burn. If it doesn't, go ahead and download it separately. As soon as um, you download it and install, make, um, make sure you have your file that you want to convert ready and drag it right inside DVD Flick. And this is how DVD Flick looks like. As soon as you drag it in, go to project settings and name your project. I'm going to name it intro. And choose your target size depending on the size of your uh, file. I'm going to choose 700 megabytes just for uh, demonstration purposes. If you have a um, movie, it's a, and usually they're around 4, which is um, the normal size, go ahead and choose DVD. But if you have an 8 gigabyte movie file, go ahead and choose DVD dual layer, DL. But make sure that you have the DVD ready and in the drive. So go ahead and choose that. Encoder priority, go ahead and choose, um, depending if you're either going to work with the computer while using, um, while it's encoding, go ahead and put it on normal or below normal. If you're not going to use the computer while it's encoding, go ahead and put it on high. It's just going to take up more computer so, uh, CPU usage and then go to um, video target format NTSC if you live in European, Asian, African or Oceanic countries set it to PAL otherwise set it to NTSC encoding profile go ahead and choose best and leave everything else the same and click accept once you do that go ahead and click on menu settings you have six menus to choose from mosaic and plasma sphere are the best I'm just gonna go ahead and use mosaic and I'm going to click accept. Once you do that, you're ready to uh, create your DVD. Um, make sure it's in the drive, but I don't have the DVD. Um, I don't have a DVD ready, so I'm not going to be uh, actually burning it. But make sure you have it in the drive because as soon as you create DVD, it's going to convert it and then burn it using IMG Burn, um, so it's playable on your DVD uh, player. But if you don't have a DVD or CD in the drive, all it's going to do is convert the files and you're stuck with a whole bunch of files that you don't know how to burn correctly if you're not knowledgeable on how to do so. So go ahead and put the CD or DVD in the drive and it's going to create the DVD. Um, I already put my, uh, I already made a folder in my document so it's telling me it's going to be overwritten and I'm just going to say yes and it's going to encode the video and it's going to finalize it once it says finishes for you if you have the CD or DVD in the drive it's going to go ahead and open up with IMG burn and it's going to do the whole process for you now if you don't have the CD or DVD in the drive you're going to be stuck with a whole bunch of files I'll show you if you go to my documents or wherever you saved it you're going to be stuck with all these files that you that you might not even know how to burn and if you try to do it manually you might uh, mess up so make sure you have the CD or DVD inside your drive and make sure that um, uh, image burn burns it automatically. Uh, once you do that, it's going to burn it and it's going to eject the disk. Go ahead and put it in a DVD player and it should play fine. If you have any questions, email me, comment. Please rate this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.